everyone, my name is Blake. I'm going to do an unboxing review of the new Goal Zero Yeti 500X, which is a solar generator used for emergency backup power and camping, so on. Uh, so I'm going to go over an unboxing today as well as pointing out a few of the features of the device and then from there just a general overview. Tests and usage coming later. All right, well let's get into it. So starting off, this item retails for $699 from Goal Zero's website. I had to pay a bit more being out here in Hawaii to get it shipped to me. Uh, so this instead retailed for $799, so I had to pay an extra $100, but to each their own. So let's start off, uh, first off, the Yeti 500X. The X, to my understanding, stands for the 12 volt DC is now regulated. All right, also to start off, let's go ahead and get into it. This has got a user's manual. Accessory cables, more accessory cables, pull this guy out. This weighs 12.9 pounds, so let's get that beautiful display box out of the way. It does say please keep the box, so that way for warranty reasons if you need to send it back you can do so. here comes packaged in some good plastic keep that unit dry and there you go that is the first time this thing has seen air um, so to go ahead and start off with pointing out a few of the key features uh, we're just going to start off with the largest first and then work from there all right so we've got a nice carrying handle again the unit is 12.9 pounds pretty small 12.9 pounds if you want a weight comparison to something that you might have in your house. About one and a half gallons of milk. All right, and to run through the features, I'm gonna switch over to one of these sides here. Let's see. All right, to start off, uh, so for the input, we've got an eight millimeter input and they've redesigned this where it's now an MPPT input as opposed to the uh, PWM inputs of the older generation models. Again, speaking to the 12 volts, the vehicle cigarette lighter adapter, that 12 volt adapter is now regulated, uh, and that's what's supposed to be the X is for, so that everybody has an understanding. Six millimeter port for the proprietary Goal Zero accessories, such as the Light of Life 350. You've got your display screen. I haven't yet turned it on. USB outlets. This is another reason why I waited out until purchasing this one was because I wanted some Type-C outputs on a smaller unit. Uh, so of course, with this one, you've now got three types of input and pardon outputs, USB, and then there is one additional that's combined, um, and then that one is a USB Type-C power delivery port, 60 watts maximum output or input. So in combination with this eight millimeter input for charging solar and all the other various methods, this is 120 watts capable. This is 60 watts capable for a combined total of 180 watts charging power. The two other USBs here are USB type A 2.4 amp I don't understand why they didn't choose to put quick charge on there. Um, I do realize that the Type-C is quick charge, as, and then again, this is a power delivery port. Just seems like they could have maybe done that, but just my personal preference. Then, the reason why most people get these things, in addition to storing the power from solar, is so they can use it with the inverter. So this has a 300 watt pure sign inverter with a 1200 watt surge capacity. Uh, through other videos with Goal Zero, I'm not sure if it's going to be exactly the same, but they're the, the person who represents the company had stated that this is a step-down uh, surge prote protection, so it can actually go higher than a lot of times what they rate it for. However, it's like milliseconds worth of timing, and then it steps down from there. So as far as how long it can hold that surge for, 
I don't know, maybe later somebody can do a test. Um, maybe those who do a great job of that, such as the, uh, the one do-it-yourself guy that's out there, I hope he grabs one of these and does a test on it. Looks like we have some ventilation across the bottom. If I turn it to the side here, looks like we have a fan, so that way it can exhaust some of the, the heat that's coming through it. This is another nice little capability that they put on here. So they put the eight millimeter on both the front and the back. Uh, so this one here on the back is a secondary to the one that's on the front. So if you were to charge solar panels into both the front and to the back, you would not get the solar charging from the rear. It would automatically default to the front solar charging input. Uh, to my understanding, both of these though are MPPT but that allows you to set it up in maybe a nice cordage assembly in, in your van, at home, your camping style, so where you don't have to have a cord running from the front if you don't want to when not in use. You could clean that up a little bit. Um, another fan on this side, again, for further ventilation. And then that brings us back to the front. I'm gonna tilt this back. And here on the bottom, looks like we have some nice rubber feet. Uh, feet so that way it can hold out from sliding all around but ultimately a, uh, a well-built quality unit here uh, construction wise feels like this is a, an aluminum so let's go ahead and power this on and get it lit up all right so to my understanding all I need to do is go ahead and click on one of these buttons here and there you go so it looks like goal zero has changed its display uh, so the older units all have a green display on there, whereas this one is a blue backlit display. Looks a lot cleaner, um, and it looks like mine has some protective film on the top of it, so let's go ahead and take that off. Uh, but on this, this is why a lot of people like Goal Zero products, is because it gives you a lot of information as you're doing your charging. Uh, so as you charge, through the unit itself from solar, your vehicle, um, a wall outlet, you're gonna get an input light here, but you're actually gonna get to see how much wattage is coming in. And then if you're using any of these ports, you will get to see the wattage coming out. I just opened mine up. I just got my unit yesterday. It literally is just off the boat here in Hawaii. And it looks like they shipped it with 79% power or somewhere in that range. Of course, it's probably come down just a little bit since they have shipped it, and I'm sure it does a good job holding its charge. But upon for use, first use, I'm probably gonna go ahead and charge this up. But here, additionally, I can change some of the information that's on it, um, and more than likely I would have to do it while there's either input or output. Uh, but right now it just reads 79%. And then units, I can go ahead and change watts, watt hours, volts, amps, and back to watts. If I turn either of these two on, these lights are probably gonna light up, letting me know that there is now power running to this. I don't see any output discharge by turning this one on. Let's see if it does anything on the AC. Turn the AC side on, and wow very fast seven watts. I'm trying to listen to see if the fans come on. I can't tell if the fans are coming on, but it looks like it's a pretty stable seven watts of usage. So seven watt hours usage. All right, uh, well outside of that, it does look like it has the Allen keys, uh, Allen screws on the top, uh, but it looks like it's only going to be something where goal zero could change that or work on it uh, because I have asked them and they did say that the battery is not replaceable on the Yeti 500 but that might be something where it could be a future change um, people might be able to do mods on their own but of course it's electricity so you want to be careful if you're going to even consider doing it and I'm sure you could avoid the warranty if you did so um, straight out of the box the unit, if purchased from an authorized seller, is going to have a one-year warranty. And if you do product registration, 
Uh, with Goal Zero, you're going to get a second year of warranty. And then if you're a consumer, such as myself, who likes to use every advantage they can, you purchase it with like an Amex Gold or one of those premium cards to where it adds an additional extended warranty at no charge. So uh, I get Goal Zero's one-year warranty, I get Goal Zero's extended warranty, and I'm getting my American Express additional year of warranty just by purchasing it with their card from an authorized seller, in my case, Battery Bills here in Hawaii. Ultimately, I hope that you like the review. I hope it's helpful. I will have more videos um, to use along with my solar panels that I have behind this. I have four 30-watt Goal Zero Boulder 30s to plug into this guy, as well as two Nomad 28s and some Nomad 7s uh, just to, to have some fun and play around with this thing. And I also want to use it together with my new Sherpa AC 100 AC uh, just to see if I can max out that total 180 watts. I, I am curious to see if I can over panel this, uh, keeping in the guidelines of Gold Zero with the 22 volts max, and get this thing all the way up to 120 watts of power. Um, but I'm not really certain of that. Nothing on their website talks anything about over paneling. So if I plug all four of my 30 watt Boulder panels up to it, uh, that is a maximum of 120 watts. I want to see if I can go ahead and plug up my two Nomad 28s at the same time to get the full 120 and not risk damaging my unit here. All right, well, I hope you like it. If you like, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I will have more videos here in the future. Sorry for it being in this format of uh, being so close to the unit on a floor, but I'm moving right now and hopefully I'll get it into place. Uh, so I hope you like it. Please like, subscribe. Talk to you next time. Peace.